Hi, my name is Alyssa, and I'm the Science Program Manager at Boston Children's Museum. And today, I'd like to do another creature feature with you, with my pal, Oliver, who is staying in my guest room during this time. Now today, I'd like to talk about how snakes sense things. Now when you think about senses, people have five that we talk about. We talk about seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, and touching. Those are our five senses, and that's how we experience the world and get information about what's going on around us. Snakes do it a little differently. Oliver is a ball python, and they tend to hang out in burrows during the day. So there's no real reason for them to have really good vision. And in fact, Oliver doesn't have very good vision. He can see things that are moving, but he can't see very far away, and he can't see great details or nice colors like most people can. So if his eyes aren't telling him about the world, then what is? Well, you'll notice that Oliver doesn't have ears either, so that's not it. But one thing that you might notice as you watch Oliver is that his tongue is flicking in and out of his mouth. And that is one of his primary ways to sense what's going on around him. When Oliver sticks out his tongue, he picks up little tiny molecules in the air, little tiny bits of things that have a smell. There, he's smelling my hand. And then he pulls his tongue back into his mouth and touches it to the roof of his mouth, where there's something called a Jacobson's organ. The Jacobson's organ connects to his brain and gives him information about what he's smelling. Now, let's see if we can get a look here. Oliver's tongue is forked. That means it's split in two. I don't know if you can see that. But when his tongue comes back into his Jacobson's organ, each fork touches on different sides. And that helps him know if the smell is coming from over here or over here. Now something else that Oliver has that we don't have is he has these little heat sensing organs. Now I want you to take a look kind of above his mouth but below his eyes and kind of all around where his lips would be if he had lips, which he doesn't. You could see these little tiny kind of pinkish holes. And those sense heat. And that is important for an animal like Oliver, who would be hunting small animals like mice or other small creatures. So, he sticks out his tongue, he smells that there's something interesting over here. Those heat sensing organs tell him that there's something warm over here. And Oliver is pretty sensitive to vibrations. That's why when he's at the museum, we ask you to please don't bang on his cage because that's really, really bothersome to him. But normally, if he feels some vibrations, he knows there might be a little animal over there. So, he's hunting. He smells it. He can tell it's warm. He feels the vibration. Now he knows exactly where that animal is. He can grab it and have a meal. So snakes experience the world very differently from how we do. And that's one of the things that people find a little strange about them, but I think it's pretty fascinating. What about you, Oliver? He doesn't have much to say. Well, speaking of Oliver going out and having a snack, it's time for me to give him his breakfast. So we'll see you next time on a creature feature here in my guest room. Thanks for joining me.